Hi, welcome back dear students. On this video here, we are going to find out how to collect data from forms. This is actually really exciting. PHP was meant to do a lot of things and this, this is one of the things that PHP is so great doing. All right, so let's go ahead and start doing that. So the first thing that we got to do is do a save as of course on that blank.php and I'm going to explain a couple things to you before we get started. So I'm just going to make a file called form.php all right, let's get it ready on the browser there. All right, perfect. So now, what's going on with this uh, collecting data with a super global called variable uh, uh, post? Well, post is a, like I said, super variable, super global variable. And it's called post, not global. And this will pick up the data that we send it to we send it using forms. So we pick up data from form in a post format. So I don't know if you've seen forms, if you are a developer, you've probably seen forms before there and you've seen the data inside, but you don't know how it worked. I'm gonna show you in this video how it works. So let's make a form for uh, first and let's find out the ins and outs of the form. So I'm just gonna create a form with some inputs and I'm going to explain in a minute what this keyword here is, what it means. And I'm just going to have a couple inputs here. This one's going to be for password. The first one's going to be for names. And this one's going to be just a submit button. I'm going to put a BR tag right here. All right, so we have our data here, uh, form. As a matter of fact, let's do some placeholders. So that way the user knows what they have to type in there. So placeholder. And I'm just going to say enter name. Or username. Let's just put username. Usually is a username and password. And let's just finish that placeholder. Type it here. Come back here. That should be enough. All right. There we go. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are missing. This should say password, right? All right. Password not. Peace word. Perfect. So we have this form here, right? Now this keyword, what this keyword does is sends these data to another page. Usually we send the data to a function.php or form.php to process. Right now we want this data to be sent to this form here, this page, form.php. All right? Because we are going to be processing the data right here on this form. We're going to be picking it up. And the way it sends the data is with this attribute here called post. With post information, post data. Post data is usual, usually for forms. Jesus, if I can get this right, that would be nice. There we go. All right, so we are telling whoever is picking this form, whoever is processing this form, that the data here is post. So we got to pick, we got to extract the username out of here, we got to extract the password values out of there, right? And but right now, before we do we, before we do this, we need to find out if this form was submitted. Because if we check for values and this form was not submitted, we're gonna get an error in PHP. PHP is gonna try to find the values, it's gonna say to us, Well, something went wrong. I can't find this value, and it's gonna give us an error. So now we say that we are gonna pick up this information. We're going to send it via post, and for that we need to receive it. And we're going to receive it to the variable post. This super global is actually defined like this. In this super global, we are going to be saving all the post data from forms. So let's go ahead and put our PHP tags in here and use that super global to get the data. As a matter of fact, what we're going to be getting is it's finding out if this form was submitted. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to create an if statement here. And we're going to find out if post. But you got to also keep in mind that when this form gets submitted, not only does we submit this, right? We submit the first input. Remember, it's a super global. And a super global works a little different than a super global variable. Works a little different than a regular variable. As a matter of fact, this information gets turned into an associative array. So this user here becomes the value, all right, becomes 
I'll show you right now in a minute, but this post here will pick up the value that we send it through. And we I'm gonna show you another keyword that we use here to send that value to that post to the associative array, which is a super global variable. And it could be a little confusing, but if you see it, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is right now. So please don't get confused. So we're gonna use a function called is set, all right, inside this if statement, and we're gonna find out if the post variable, super global, right, variable is available. But we say that it gets turned into an associative array. What do we want to check? When we check for associative array, we have to check for what's inside, what values, right? So this would be the associative array post, right? Would be the array. And what are we checking for? Well, there's another keyword that we use called name, and you're going to see that in the forms. Without this keyword, you can't send data to the super global post, right? So we are going to be, what do we want to send? This is going to turn into that value right here. We want to send this submit, all right? We put whatever we want in here, but I just want to call it submit because that's what it is. So we're going to check if this submit value here is set. So this is the, remember, this is the submit button here actually right here this is the submit and the only way this value gets submitted is when we click it when we click it all right this is gonna is gonna send the information to form.php room and we're gonna pick it up because that information is in post via a format in post format we're gonna pick it up right here we're gonna the first thing that we're gonna pick up is this PHP right because we are in the header of that document so and this is a that PHP, so Apache is going to be looking for information. So it runs this, and it says, "Oh, I got an if statement here," and it runs the if statement. It says, "If is set post submit," then I want you to do this. So it's going to run this PHP code before anything else on the page when it gets submitted. When it, this action here gets sent, it sends the data to that form PHP, which is this form via post. Hopefully you understand this. If not, don't worry. We're going to recap at the end. So I'm just going to say echo if the submit button was pressed. All right. Yes, it works. Works. There we go. So we're going to come here and we're going to click submit. Yes, it works. You see that we got the data. We got this submit value from down here when we clicked on submit and we were able to do something with it. All right. So very simple again let me recap a little bit here what we did we know that this is the form right and we know that this action keyword is going to send the data to this page here and we're going to see later on how we can send it to another page but right now we are sending it here via post format right and then we're going to well what are we sending right now the only thing we are sending is this input right here because we're using this name keyword all right, now I'm going to leave it up to you if you want to do it before you watch the next video, how you can send the rest of the information to the post right here. Don't check for it. For it. If you want to check for it, go ahead and use the other, the other inputs and check for that data and then say, you know, Echo, I found the username. Echo, I found uh, the password. So if you want to go ahead and, and, and do this too here yourself, do it, try to do it, and then watch the other video and see if, you know, your, my answer is the same as yours. All right. So anyways, I leave that up to you if you want to do that. Remember that this gets turned into an associate array here. And what we're doing is checking for the value here in this name attribute here. So that's what's get, that, this is what gets sent. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. And in the next video, we're going to be extracting the rest of this information. All right. We're going to be turning it into variables and we're going to be able to process that information. All right. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.